During this session, we will further discuss about table 4 and table 6. Let me tell you the difference between these two tables. Notations given in table 4 can be used with the language numbers with asterisk mark in main class 400, whereas the table 6 can be used with the tables and schedules to which the classifier is instructed to use language number from table 6. There are few more aspects which we haven't discussed in our previous program. In language class, we come across such books which deal with the words of particular language infiltrating into other language. For example, use of English words in Hindi. These type of books need special treatment. First, analyze the subject. We are basically talking about Hindi language and our basic number is Hindi. Number for Hindi in the main class 400 is 491.43. This number has an asterisk mark which instructs us to use table 4 for the further number. When we use table 4, we find for the foreign element the number is 2, 4. And here with 2, 4, again we are directed to use table 6 for the second language. When we use table 6, we find the number for English is 2, 1. When we join this number, it becomes 491.43242. One. This is the number for use of English words in Hindi. Let me explain this with a similar another example, use of Sanskrit words in Telugu language. Here we are talking about Telugu language and the number for Telugu language is 494.827. We know the number for foreign element in table 4 is 2, 4. And here again we are directed to use table 6 for the second language. In table 6, the number for Sanskrit is 9, 1, 2. When you join this number, it becomes the number for use of Sanskrit words in Telugu language. Use of table 4 and 6 also figure in different situations. In schools for lower classes, for the study of languages, there are different stages of textbooks. For example, for English, the books prescribed by NCRT are Reader 1, Reader 2 and Reader 3. If we have these books in our library, how we are going to classify it, let's see. For example, we have to classify the English reader. The number for English is 4, 2 taken from schedule. This number being asterisk mark directs us to use the table 4 for further number. In table 4, the number given for reader is 8, 6. When we add this number with the language number, it becomes 428.6 and this is the number for English reader. Let's take another example. English reader for the French speaking people. The number will be 428.641. As we already know, the number for English is 42 and 86 is a number for reader given in table 4. Here in table 4, we are directed to use table 6 for the second language. When we use table 6, we find the number given for French language is 41. Till now, we were discussing about table 4 and table 6 together. Now we will work out some examples for table 6 exclusively. We get encyclopedias in different languages in our libraries. 
let's work out example for encyclopedia in Hindi language that's a Hindi Vishwakosh. Let's classify Hindi Vishwakosh. The number for encyclopedia given in schedule is 030 and the number for the encyclopedia of other languages is 039. Here the classifier is instructed to use table 6. When you will use table 6 you will find the number given for Hindi is 9143. When we add this number with the main number it becomes 039.9143. That is the number for Hindi Vishwakosh. Let's take another example of magazines. Generally we get periodicals in our libraries and those are in different languages. For example, we have to coin a number for Dharam Yug. We know the Dharam Yug is a magazine of Hindi language and the number given for periodicals and serials in schedule is 050 and 059 is a number for the magazines of other languages. Here again we are instructed to use table 6 for the language. When we use table 6 we find the number given for Hindi is 9143. When we add this number with the main number it becomes 059.9143 that is the number for Dharam Yuk. There are several such situations where language number can be worked out. Here are some examples. For example, Bible in Bengali language. The number is 220.59144. The number for modern version and translation of Bible is 220.5. The number for Bengali language taken from table 6 is 9144. When we join this number, it becomes the number 220.59144. That is the number for Bible in Bengali language. Teaching Sanskrit in elementary school as a second language, the number is 372.65912. Three seven two point six five is a number for teaching of language in elementary school. Nine one two is a number for Sanskrit language taken from table six, added as directed in the schedule under the number three seven two point six five. Let's take another example of Chinese proverbs. The number is three nine eight point. 9951. The number for proverbs is 398.9 and the number for Chinese language taken from table 6 is 951. Here is another book of Urdu calligraphy. Let's classify it. The number is 745.61. 9991439 The number for calligraphy in other languages given in schedule is 745.6199 The number given for Urdu language in table 6 is 91439 When we join both the numbers it becomes the number for Urdu calligraphy Tamil speaking people in Malaysia. The number will be 305.7948110595. 305.7 is a number for social group of people adherent to a particular language. 94811 is a number for Tamil language from table 6, a social group of Tamil speaking people. 0595 there is a provision under 305.7 to add a country number with the help of 0 595 is for Malaysia from table 2. During this session and our previous session we have discussed about table 4 and table 6. 
If you need any clarification, you can consult your counselor, Professor T. N. Rajan. Well, my dear friends, we have viewed the two sessions conducted by Ms. Malhotra on the use of tables 4 and 6. I am sure you should have understood the discussions that we have so far viewed and uh, <coughs> noted. But there might be some questions. Is there anyone who has a question? Yes. Sir, I have understood the use of table 4. But if there are any books like Outline of General Phenotics or a study of a comparative theology, I mean books not pertaining to any particular language, then how they are to be classified? Yes, in the library there are several books that deal with scripts, paleography, phonetics, grammar and so on, which are not pertaining to any particular language, but are of general nature. These are handled under 410 and its subdivisions in traditional classifications. Will you turn the table on 410, please? Now, outline of uh, general phonetics is, you could see in the table, 414. Did you see that? A book on common script, for example, would be under, under 411. Do you get it? General discussions on paleography, which is also known as uh, historical linguistics and also known as, and also a study of early writings, would be under 417.7. Have you have you seen it? Now, for instance, comparative linguistics would be under 410. Again, please note that psycholinguistics and social linguistics are classed under 401.9. Please note that a separate number for social linguistics is not provided. Sir, I have a question under bilingual dictionaries. Yes, what's the problem? French-Russian dictionaries, where the meaning is given under Russian, should we not classify under French first? Yes, this is a very genuine question because there are two languages involved. Here, the rules are quite flexible and at the same time pretty clear. The numbering here, the classification of uh, bilingual dictionaries depends very much upon the utility of the publications uh, in a library, not necessarily on the sequence of uh, in languages. In a library of a French-speaking area, it is preferable to classify under Russian. Whereas in a Russian speaking area, it is preferable to classify under French. For example, in this particular case, that is uh, French speaking area, the number would be 491.7341, wherein Russian language is 419.7, followed by three dictionary and followed by 4-1 French. Now, in a Russian-speaking area, the number would be 443.9171, wherein French is 4-4, 3 is dictionary, and 9171 is Russian. Is that clear? Now, what do we do in a library wherein both these languages are not predominant? Say, for instance, in an Indian library, the number would be 491.7341. Please note that the rule is not uh, with reference to the languages as both are given importance, but the rule is whichever comes later in the sequence of numbers. That's the reason why we get the number as 491.7341. Sir, I would like to know how to coin the number for African desert and if the subject is animals of African desert, how to do that? Oh yes, this is a problem in which there are three aspects, namely Africa, deserts and the animals of this particular African desert. Now let's see, if we take uh, step by step. Let's first of all handle African desert. Now this can be handled <coughs> giving priority to desert 
and then Africa, or Africa and desert. Now, from the table, area table, from the area table, you would find that the number for desert is 154. Number for Africa is 6. Note down that the digit 6 is for Africa and the digits 154 are for deserts. Now, the rule says that we have got to add 0 to the region. Then, the way in which we will handle, as we have given in the first case, 154 standing for desert, 0 the connecting symbol, and 6 Africa. Is that all right? We can handle it in a different way also, as we had explained earlier, providing Africa first and then the digits for deserts. Now, let me explain this number completely. 6 stands for Africa plus 009 according to rules and then 54. Please note that 1 is deleted. Now, the second part of the question, namely, number for animals of African deserts. The basic subject here is zoology, 591, and we have got to have the geographical treatment of animals. Therefore, the number would be 591.9 plus African desert. Now, we have been directed to refer to 574.9. Now, the direction is to add the number following 574.9, that is 6. That's how we got the number above. 591.96 now is animals in Africa. Now we have got to add the desert number. Therefore, the final number would be 591.96, that is for Africa, 00954 standing for desert. So this number 591.960954 would stand for African desert animals. Is that all right? Is there any more questions, please? Well, my dear friends, we have had some discussions on some of your problems. If you still have any more problems, I would uh, suggest that you note down all these things, these problems and uh, questions, and we shall handle them in our next session. Is that all right? Thank you. Yes.